Section thirty four of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clett. Death by Emily Bronte. Death that struck when I was most confiding in my certain faith of joy to be. Strike again time's withered branch dividing from the fresh root of eternity. Leaves upon time's branch were growing brightly, full of sap and full of silver dew. Birds beneath its shelter gathered nightly, daily round its flowers the wild bees flew. Sorrow passed and plucked the golden blossom. Guilt stripped off the foliage in its pride. But within its parents' kindly bosom flowed forever life's restoring tide. Little mourned I for the parted gladness, for the vacant nest and silent song. Hope was there, and laughed me out of sadness, whispering, Winter will not linger long. And behold, with tenfold increase blessing, spring adorned the beauty-burdened spray. Wind and rain and fervent heat caressing, lavished glory on that second May. High it rose, no winged grief could sweep it, sin was scared to distance with its shine. Love and its own life had power to keep it, from all wrong, from every blight but thine. Cruel death, the young leaves droop and languish, Evening's gentle air may still restore. No, the morning sunshine mocks my anguish. Time for me must never blossom more. Strike it down, that other boughs may flourish Where that perished sapling used to be. Thus at least its mouldering corpse will nourish That from which it sprung, eternity. End of section 34